so we left this morning um, with the Turbo E46. It's a fresh M52, 2.8 liter, and a DCT transmission. We brought it to A-Star Fab to get it dyno tuned. Good old Andy. And uh, basically we got loaded up and um, we swapped, we drove the car out of the trailer into the shop with the G4 Plus from Link, the Link Fury. And we uh, swapped it out for a G4X for some uh, improved closed loop control. Uh, had a little teething issues, getting a little trans transferring the maps over. Um, I don't know what an H bridge is. Look how helpful I am already. But what's new? Yeah, yeah. what's new? Little, little <laughs> here and there problems. The AC was telling the engine not to run. So we got that sorted out. Um, did a little gymnastics in the cool. cockpit. Yeah, yeah take I'm gonna a buy a leotard. Put your number on it and stuff? Yeah, you know, just had to get under there, just swap it out, so that was good. But, um, so basically pretty excited to get the engine dialed in and then get the DCT also shifting nicely on the dyno so we can bring it out to the street and then fully dial in the DCT. Yeah, so excited what kind of numbers we can make today with Andy, with 2.8 liter turbo M52. I don't know, nothing's things really gone terrible yet, so I have, I have <laughs> much to report. We'll see when the wheels fall off, hopefully not that soon. Yeah, can I start it now? Yeah. Oh, it's not going well. <laughs> Should have been plug and play. Like everything is oh, not. Mike's trying to start the car, he's putting the four ways on. Fucking hacking this thing so hard. Oh, it's always, it's set to always on. What? That thing. Gotta fix it. Andy, there's a thing. There's a thing. So let me, I'll slap the injector plug back in and we can try and see if it starts now. Okay. Hit it? No, no, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh yeah, the wastegate was not on right. I, that was my fault. I put it on crooked, so that was an issue. We cut a sweet hole in the sidebond hood and now it doesn't line up anymore. Yeah, so Luckily we're gonna make a big bend, so it's not bad. It just looks bad right now. Yeah, it looks terrible. So if you see a really terribly cut hood, that's my fault, but not for long. No. Um, yeah, we strapped down the car on the dyno. Five hundred and seventeen. Shit! All right, all right. I like that. Not bad for first go. Okay, Bartex going through the stuff right now. Fresh. Essentially, our Wi-Fi is not too strong here, so we're looking through logs as we do pulls, and then we'll do the fine tuning with some like live feedback um, through like you know like voice call or something um, on the road later on. So we're just basically getting the transmission so that it can start rolling and not slip during the pull, and then we'll get it sorted out for the rest on the road once the engine's all fully dialed and calibrated. Ready for pull? It is eating salmon, watching pull. And we're in here doing this. Yeah. As you can see, my tuner is working very hard. <laughs> yeah, so really, we're just really excited that the engine did not immediately explode. That's what I'm personally excited about. Yeah. The I haven't seen a rod today. I haven't seen a rod at all. I haven't. All the oils in there? That's probably the first time. That's it's ever. barely even leaking. It's great. It's really great news. It's just sweating a little bit. No, it's I mean just from all the power. Basically, we're ready to do some power pulls. We made yeah. 515 on the first pull. That was like 15 pounds of boost or something. Which is just spring. Just spring. I'm pretty excited to see where it goes from here. Yes, yeah, so this one. Hopefully, we're gonna keep going. That was only to 6800 RPM. We're gonna go to 8500, I think, eventually. So we'll see what kind of power she makes up top. What kind of crazy screaming noises it makes. It does make ignorant screaming noises. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It used to not be loud at all. It used to be like pretty quiet. And we were like, oh, we'll straight pipe it. We'll take this vibrant ultra quiet out. And then I put it in my car and it's sweet. But uh, yeah, now it sounds like a pterodactyl. So it's like, it's yeah. really loud. Let's get some hearse purrs. Hearse purrs. Andy, right. how many hearse purrs? <laughs> 
Yeah. Stay tuned and we'll do some road tuning. This team did the whole diffuser mounting. This is the diffuser from the Acura NSX GT3 car from uh, Daytona. This is honestly blowing my mind.